Good evening. Welcome back to Hellhound's Late Night Spook Show here on the Horror Metal Channel. I'm Hellhound, and uh, I've been redoing a lot of my older videos lately, as you probably already uh, am well aware. And uh, so uh, I'm going to do yet another uh, re-review. This time we're going to talk about Night of the Creeps from 1986. Directed, written and directed by Fred Decker. I freaking love this uh, highly entertaining and kind of underrated um, B movie gym. Um, not really underrated in that like people uh, talk bad about it. You know, it's well well uh, respected among the horror community, but it's uh, underrated in that not enough people know about it or talk about it. You know, at least not the general uh, public, the avid, the uh, general uh, moviegoers. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. None of the Creeps, 1986. What's it about? Um, so a, a vessel containing an intergalactic uh, experiment from an alien spaceship uh, arrives on Earth. Um, meanwhile, a young couple is uh, making out in their car uh, near where, where it lands. Um, and the guy, after hearing the strange noise it makes, goes to investigate. Um, meanwhile, the girl stays behind and a killer, um, uh, actually an ex escaped mental patient with an axe, uh, arrives and... Um, murders her brutally um at the same time the guy finds the vessel which uh opens up and frees an alien slug the slug then enters his body through the mouth and uh takes control of his brain yeah <laughs> pretty crazy stuff um so 30 years later um chris played by jason Li lively from european vacation and uh, jc played by steve marshall um are two college students who, uh, while trying to impress a beautiful young co-ed named Cynthia, played by Jill Whitlow, uh, they're hazed into uh, leaving a dead body on the sorority house doorstep. They only get as far as the morgue, where they uh, find a frozen corpse, actually the young man from uh, 30 years earlier, and uh, accidentally thaw him out with a parasite still in his brain. Uh, soon, these alien slugs multiply and uh, start taking control of the students uh, around campus, resulting in a terrifying uh, zombie crisis. Um, so Chris and JC join forces with the uh, badass, one-liner spitting uh, Detective Ray Cameron, played by the awesome Tom Atkins, um, in my favorite uh, role of his, actually. Um, and uh, they must now fight to put an end to this uh, threat from beyond the stars. So, uh... This is uh, one of the greatest uh, 80s horror films I've ever seen, and uh, kind of sickens me how little known it is among uh, you know, the general public. Um, like, as I said, yeah, horror fans probably are well aware of it and, and, and enjoy it a lot, but uh, and not enough other people talk about it, you know. Um, I'd have it recommended for anybody, but uh, anyway, yeah, this movie just has all the right ingredients for B-movie greatness, and uh, it's one that you'll want to watch over and over again. Uh, I know I do. Um, yeah, all the characters here are really, uh, fleshed out and, uh, really enjoyable. They have great chemistry together. Um, Ray Cameron, played by the always great Tom Atkins, like I said, is, uh, just hilarious and steals every single scene he's in. Um, he's easily one of my favorite, uh, horror protagonists ever. Um, <laughs> I just love him. Um, uh, and this is my favorite, uh, character that he's ever played. Um, which is saying something, because he's great in everything he's in. Yeah, and, uh, Jason Lively as Chris, uh, makes for a great hero as well, and gives a very, uh, grounded and, uh, credible performance. Um, but yeah, I could go on and on about the acting and the characters, but what really makes it excellent is the, uh, intricate premise, you know, the alien slugs taking over human bodies and, uh, making them to mindless zombies all over a college campus. Um, you know, it's like a clever tribute to the, uh, sci-fi monster movies of the, uh, 50s, but with an 80s twist. Um, and I think it definitely inspired movies like Slither, you know, they owe a lot to this movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, another cool treat for horror fans such as myself is that most of the characters are named after great horror directors such as Carpenter, um, Raimi, Cronenberg, Hooper, etc., etc. Night of the Creeps was, um, definitely made for people who, uh, love this sort of thing, and I, uh, really applaud the filmmakers for that. Um, yeah, I could write an entire novel <laughs> about makes this movie so freaking awesome, um, but I'll just go ahead and, and conclude this, uh, review by telling you to check it out immediately if you haven't already. Um, because you will not be disappointed. This movie's just a blast. Highly entertaining. Uh, just very fun to watch. And yeah, Fred Decker's been behind, uh, quite a few of my favorite, uh, 
horror flicks. Um, Charles Gordon produced it. Um, Barry Devorzen did the music. Yeah, just a uh, perfect combination. It's got a pretty uh, cool soundtrack, too. Um, some genuinely creepy scenes as well. There's actually quite a few sh uh, somewhat shocking moments, and it uh, balances horror and humor really well. Um, and yeah, like I said, Detective Cameron just, uh, <laughs> he steals every scene he's in. He's the best part of the movie, easily. Um, you know, thrill me, and, uh, it's Miller time. There's so many great quotable lines that me and my friends, uh, constantly, uh, recite to each other, still to this day. Um, yeah, freaking love this movie. Um, definitely get this Blu-ray director's cut. Um, uh, there's actually another, uh, there's a Scream Factory release, I believe, of Night of the Creeps, which I, I, I definitely need to get, because they always do a, the best job with Blu-rays up there with Aero Video and stuff. Um, and, uh, I think that version, along with this release, um, they both have the original theatrical ending and the, uh, the television version. Two different endings. There's the, uh, zombie dog ending, and then there's the, uh, cemetery slash UFO, uh, ending. Both are, both are great in different ways. Um... But I'm glad this release has both endings, because um, the VHS obviously doesn't. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it doesn't, unless it's like after the credits or, or something. I really don't think so, though. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, some good special features, too. Um, but I'd say definitely get the Scream Factory version um, over this one. Uh, so I need to upgrade myself. Um, but yeah, that's Night of the Creeps. Unfortunately, we never did get a, a sequel, you know. I would have loved a uh, Return of the Creeps. That would have been excellent. But uh, sadly, it never happened. Um, but we'll still have this excellent movie, which I highly recommend. All right, guys. Well, yep, that's Night of the Creeps from 1986. Written and directed by Fred Decker and uh, starring Tom Atkins, one of my all-time favorites. They sure don't make them like this anymore. I wish they did. Um, we probably never will get a sequel, but even if they did... They probably wouldn't do it properly, but who knows. Hi right, guys, thank you for watching uh, Hellhound's Late Night Spook Show. Be sure to check out Night of the Creeps. Um, thank you for joining me here on the Horror Metal Channel. I'm Hellhound. Until next time. Later.